Hey, this is Dr. Young. So I have a really interesting story. Uh, it's about beauty and just my analysis and, you know, I'm writing a book on it, but this story is so fascinating. And I have another story after this too, but I have this model friend that's a, that was a neighbor. Uh, we went to the mall to look for some clothes for a present for his daughter. Uh, it was by the Starbucks in uh, 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 Bellevue Square. We walk in and uh, he takes a right. And I noticed this fairly attractive blonde sales attendant literally looked like she was rushing towards him. And you know, I mean, I, I have experiences in life and I notice how certain paces, you know, like speeds of, of walking are. And I noticed that this was very fast. So she literally like almost runs towards him and was just so nice to him. And I'm just like, whoa. And you know, during this whole time, she never even said hi to me. She was like, like literally like, eagle eye locked in on him and I was like oh my god this is so fascinating first I was annoyed and then I was like okay my science mind is going to kick in and um, I was watching her and then I said okay now I want to watch my neighbor my good looking former model neighbor I want to see how he does he think this is weird too I want to see if he's re like if he's surprised like oh my god this is like what's going on like oh my gosh this person is so nice to me and I, I was watching him like a hawk and you know what he didn't act surprised at all this was like totally normal for him. And I was like, oh my God, his life is so different. People are just so nice to him. And I was like, oh my God, this is such an impactful moment for me because later on I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tell, uh, tell you another story about a, kind of an opposite occurrence to another neighbor of mine. Anyways, so I have this other story. I have another neighbor that uh, we were at a kid's, uh, uh, our, our, our former teacher's birthday party it was at a um it was at a a, a bar you know type uh, restaurant and it was a birthday party and it was kind of busy and no one was really helping us and my neighbor friend who has you know a very strong brow it almost makes him look like he's either angry or stern or very very serious you know and I think that's you know his his look and but it kind of connotates that that emotion um he goes yeah i want to order some too and he goes let me go talk to the waitress okay i said oh okay so he goes to the waitress and says um yeah can can we order something you know we're just sitting over there and i noticed something when he he went in like towards her to say oh can can i order she went like this she went uh yeah she backed away and said i'll be right there in just a second and he's like, and he was like this, and then he backed away too, and he was, and he was like, oh, okay, uh, and then he went back, and I was really fascinated by that encounter. He was friendly, and he went to go talk to her, but when she saw him, she had a sense that he was aggressive or something, and she, it made her go backwards, and it was nothing the way that he he emotionally felt it was his just his appearance that caused that and can you imagine having something in the way you look that can influence your daily interactions i mean how can what does that do to you over a month over a year over your lifetime literally it can affect the way your personality develops and i think that's what's fascinating also about beauty and how you look so why isn't this why is that story so important? Well, basically my point is that a person based on their looks can have these different reactions that can occur daily for them. And then look what your 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 life is in those situations. Like uh, this person that I know, he um, when I talk to him, it's really nice. It's like he smiles and, I, and he's good looking. I think he's good looking too. And when he smiles and he just talks, it's all easy. And, you know, I, I, I feel good talking to him, you know. And then this other um, person that I know who has a really strong brow, it's almost, look like, it looks like he's angry at me. When he talks to me, it's just like, it's not smooth. It's like staccato. He'll ask me questions like, how much do you make? Or like some really weird off question that's not like emotionally intelligent. Uh, and, 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 and his life is like that. His, his strong brow presents a situation to people, uh, 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 an, ins, um, an implied emotion that he's mad and he gets that all throughout his life. And so that's what he's used to. He's used to this treatment. Um, 
And I'm gonna tell you that story that happened to this guy. But like for my other neighbor who's good looking, who's a model, who, who people like have, you know, like to look at, his whole interactions like throughout his day are always positive and always nice. And that's his impression of the world. I mean, it's completely different than someone that doesn't look good. And it's just like, it's kind of sad, but that's just how life is.